would like to introduce our first guest speaker, my wonderful colleague, Dr. Arash Golnam. Arash. Um, Arash is a, is a scholar and expert of systems thinking and design. He originally came to Switzerland on a PhD scholarship and has since then published a lot of articles and is, has currently has a, a book publication in, in progress. But first of all, he has a real passion for teaching, has taught since he was 18 years old, has won the Distinguished Faculty Award at the Business School Lausanne four years in a row. And we are very, very pleased to call him our colleague at UBIS now. Welcome, Arash. Um, I want to share some ideas with you about learning. Learning. Some personal experiences and some thoughts, especially for our graduating students. First thing to know is that you're going to graduate today, but this doesn't mean that your learning journey is over. I have studied for 28 years of my life. So the first day I went to school, at the age of seven, my studies just continued. After high school, I went to university, after bachelor's program and master's program. At the same time, I was working. I did my doctoral studies. After my doctoral studies, I did a postdoctoral study. Then I went and I started working in the industry. And very soon I realized that I don't have enough knowledge to do my job very well. So I had to go back to university again and do a second master's degree. So up until February this year, I've been a student continuously. And um, what I can tell you is that most important things I know in my life, actually, were not taught to me at university. They were things that I learned by going into the unknown, by trying, by experimenting, by daring. Dare to think and dare to learn. The only way to learn, in my opinion, based on my experience now, is to challenge yourself, to continuously challenge yourself on a daily basis. You have to challenge yourself every day. At the end of every day, you need to be asking yourself the question, what did I learn today? How am I different today from yesterday? What is it that I know today that I didn't know yesterday? What can I do with what I know today that I couldn't do yesterday? Every day should dare to go into the unknown, into the mystery, into space which is out of your comfort zone. Do things you've never done before. Meet with people you've never met before. And remember that in every encounter, there's an opportunity for learning. If you meet someone somewhere, don't step away from this encounter without having learned something. It's very important. Our learning should not be confined to university to classes, to textbooks, to courses. Real learning occurs through challenge, perseverance, hard work, effort, failure, mistakes. One thing I've recently been telling my students is that um, listen to the voice that speaks without words. Which voices within you speak without using words? Listen to your body. Instead of asking yourself, what do I think about this? Ask yourself, how do I feel about this? Value your feelings a lot. Even the worst question to ask compared to what do I think about this is what others think about this. Trust your feelings. 
go within yourself to see what's right for you. How you feel about things, not what you think about things. That's an important question to ask. Whenever you're doing things, ask yourself, how do I feel about this and why? Observe your feelings. They are great sources of learning for you. Learning happens in increments, in small steps, one step at a time. The Chinese proverb, a journey of a thousand miles, starts with a single step. There is no shortcut. Remember that. There is no shortcut in life. You have to go through small steps, one at a time. Learn from them. If you don't learn, you have to repeat that step. If you continually find yourself in a similar situation, the reason is you have not learned the lesson that that situation embodies for you. Take those small steps. And as you are taking those small steps, don't compare the size of those small steps to the vision you have in mind. Don't say, OK, this assignment, this task, this reading, this encounter, this is where I am now, and that's where I want to be. It's too far, so how do I get there? Just focus on the present moment. What you do at the present moment is the most important thing that you should be doing. Pay attention to that. Don't let thoughts of an unforeseen future destroy your present moments. Persevere in the present moments with whatever it is that you need to do. That's the best thing for you to do. And these small steps, they come together. And suddenly they emerge as a big thing. Something you never expected. Something you never thought about. Something you never imagined. I was born in Iran during the war between Iran and Iraq, at the border with Iraq. So that was one of the worst places and worst times to be born. I never thought that one day I'll end up in one of the most peaceful places on the face of the planet, especially nowadays when you see turmoil in different parts of the world. You really know the value of peace. I never thought about it. What I did, I took it one step as a time. I just studied. I did my best. Every day I thought to myself, well, today I did whatever I could, whatever that was in my power. Took it a day at a time. It's very difficult to do this because there's all this noise around us that wants to distract us from ourselves. A baby that is born is the most intact form of talent then society takes a part of that. School takes a part of that. Peer pressure takes a part of that. And then that baby grows up and has to work very hard to get back to where it started, to put aside all those hindrances and impediments. Pay attention to the voice that does not use words. That's my last message for you. Thank you very much for your attention. Arash, it's my honor and uh, truly a privilege of knowing you as an instructor, as a teacher, and I hope uh, also as a friend. And in this moment to honor you as being selected the Distinguished Teacher Award of 2018 for UBIS University. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to present you and, I, and I must say that this was a selection of the students who recognize in you a great teacher. Thank you for being part of it.